Yo yo. I'm Yong Yao, aka YY. No 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 no. My YY doesn't means yo yo, okay? Look what I have here. The Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones. I'm going to do a review of this headphone. Stay tuned and see what I have to say about this headphone. Now, let's listen to some music. The packaging design of the Fly ANC headphones is nice. The material used is solid and it gives you a premium feel when you're unboxing it. Once you open the box, you will see a carrying case. Underneath, there are some documentations like user manual and warranty information. I'm really glad that Harman Kardon includes a carrying case for the headphones. This is a hard clamshell carrying case. The material used once again feels premium. Once you open the carrying case, you will see the headphones. The accessories included are stored inside this stretchable pocket. There is enough room in the pocket to store a USB charger or even a power bank. You get a 3.5mm TRRS to TRS extension cable. A micro USB charging cable and a flight adapter so that you can use it for in-flight entertainment. When I removed the headphones from the case, my first impression was it has nice build quality and it is hefty. The material used are mostly plastic and leatherette, but they are of better quality type. Especially the leatherette, it feels soft and nice to touch. The ear cups can be folded and make it more compact for easy storage. The headband can be extended to fit different head sizes. Left and right channel labels are printed inside the ear cup. The headband is very elastic and twistable. It definitely can take some abuse. The control buttons are all on the right ear cup. They are organized in groups and nicely spaced apart. Once you get used to the position of the buttons, you can control them easily without looking. You can touch the left ear cup to access the smart assistant on your phone. However, I activated it a few times accidentally while adjusting the headphones. The ear cups are soft and squishy, but due to higher clamping force of the headphones, my ears will feel pain after using the headphones for a period of time. Too bad, stretching the headbands doesn't help much. As I mentioned earlier, the Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones feel hefty. The weight is about 280 grams. How much is 280 grams? It's about the weight of two apples. Sometimes the headphone will fall out of my head when I bend down. One of the nice features of the Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones is it can connect to two devices simultaneously. This means that you can listen to music on your computer and pick up calls on your phone without having to switch connection. After a call ended, you can simply resume the music on your computer. The Bluetooth connection is good. I can use it around my apartment without any problem. If I want to nitpick, there is a very slight latency when watching video on YouTube. Now, let's talk about Active Noise Cancellation, aka ANC. You can turn the ANC mode on or off using the ANC button on the right ear cup or using the app. It is not easy to show the performance of the ANC mode over video, but I'll try. I'm going to do a simple test of the sound and effectiveness of the ANC from Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones. My test, let me explain my test method. It's pretty simple. This is a lavalier mic, so the recording you are hearing is from this mic now. Later, I'm going to put the mic inside the ear cup and uh, hopefully it can simulate the effect of ANC on and off. This is the ambient noise. Okay, now let me put inside the ear cup. 
I was trying to adjust to get a good seal from the ear cup for the ANC to work effectively. And this is what you are hearing inside the ear cup. Now, let me turn on the ANC. This is with the ANC on. Unfortunately, there isn't much car around, but you still get the ambient noise. Okay, let me play some music with the ANC on and off. This is with the ANC on and I'm going to turn off the ANC now. The ANC mode of the Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones is not the strongest, but it's definitely good enough to isolate the background noise, especially when you are listening to music at certain volume level. Luckily, it was only Edmund. If it was my wife, I'm sure I'll be getting extra TLC for the rest of the day. Let's check out the audio quality from the internal microphone of the Fly ANC headphones. This is a test recording using Fly ANC internal microphone in a quiet environment. This is a test recording using Comica Boom XT wireless microphone connected directly to my camera in a quiet environment. This is a test recording using Fly ANC internal microphone in a simulated cafe environment. This is a test recording using my Comica Boom XT wireless microphone connected directly to my camera in a cafe environment. At the end of the day, I think what is more important for a pair of headphones is the sound quality. The Fly ANC headphones has the signature Harman Kardon sound. The bass is deep and powerful, but not overpowering the mids and the highs. The walker's clarity is good. The trebles is detailed, but not sibilant. The sound stage is good, and the instrument separation is decent too. Turning on ANC mode will help reduce the background noise and allows you to put more attention to the music information but it also will change the sound characteristic slightly. Don't worry, you still can fine-tune the sound to your liking using the EQ setting inside the app. So overall, if you are considering getting a pair of ANC headphones with good sound and build quality, maybe you should give Harman Kardon Fly ANC headphones a try. If you find this video informative and helpful, please give us a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and then share this video with everyone you know in your life. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Bye!